gauge operation turn sled on. Okay, then the lower right gives you your trips, your hours, and odometer, and the clock. To set the trip to zero, you just hold the lower right button. That sets it to zero. To set the clock, you hold the button, then you go over to the left hand buttons and using the arrows, you can select either 12 or 24 hour, either way. Then you can change your numbers as so, down arrow goes back, up goes up, and hit the set button again. Then you can change your minutes, and then you're back. Then that should be it for that button. Then the upper right, you can move your clock up to there. That shows your altimeter and RPM. If you want to move your, your RPM over and your mile per hour to the right, you just hit the left upper button. Then mile per hour is on the right, RPM is on the left. Now for the, the lower left, the coolant temperature, volt, intake air, or nothing. If you'd prefer to just have the bar showing and no numerical value, you just hold the button and it goes away. Or if you hold the button again, there it is. And that applies to every value shown. Then for your altimeter, you also, you also need to, to figure out what your, your, your uh, elevation is. So you go on a phone or whatever and it, it's easy to Google it. So you hold the, that button and then you can change your your altimeter. It needs a a base setting in order to be accurate. Then you can go also in the diagnostics mode. To go in diagnostics mode, you hold both the left and right lower buttons at the same time. This the PDSR pin does not apply to us. So on Arctic Cats, when you, are, when you buy the sled, before the sled leaves the, the store, they have to, to enter a pin number. Ours are always all zeros. So in order to go in diagnostic mode, hit select. You got throttle position sensor, which should be at zero at idle. And when you're wide open, should be very close to 100%. I'm changing the throttle. Right, I'm giving it gas and letting off right now. Then you have your barrel reading. And your idle speed control, that's just a value that changes as it warms up, you'll, you'll see it change. 
and that is the ohm reading off your fuel pump, that also changes as when it's running and as you're giving it gas. And you can have this diagnostic mode running while the sled is, is actually being operated. And that's it for diagnostic mode. In order to exit, you scroll up, exit, select. I don't know why it makes you wait, but it does. So that's your gauge operation. Thanks.